Hope you're all okay. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, this episode is going to be the first episode in a brand new series. So we are very excited. It might not look it because we're very, very tired. But so <laughs> well, welcome to our Australia series. <laughs> We've decided to do some traveling around Australia while we're here, make the most of our visa and uh, see as much of Australia as we possibly can. We're going to be traveling around the country. We're going to be hitting as many places as possible. We've got a bit of a wish list of uh, things we want to do, places we want to see. So we're going to be doing all that this series and we're very excited about it. This morning at the bright and early time that it is, we are just about to get a flight to the Gold Coast. We're going to be exploring the Gold Coast and Brisbane and we're heading there now. The flight is about an hour and a half, I think. We're gonna pack up the rest of our stuff, head to the airport. We're there for three days, um, three full days anyway, and we've got half a day when we land today as well. I'll show you the ins and outs of what it's got to offer. landed in Gold Coast a little bit early and so we weren't actually able to check in just yet. As we were staying in an Airbnb within a hotel, we weren't able to leave our luggage with them and so we found a cafe nearby to grab some lunch and just wait for our check-in time. The Gold Coast has some pretty tall skyscrapers and ours was definitely one of them. Our apartment was on the 33rd floor of this building. It was a beautiful two-bed apartment and here is a quick tour for you guys.
Once we settled into the apartment and unpacked, we decided to go exploring and see what was around the area. The beaches here are absolutely stunning with some of the softest sands that we've ever seen. The beaches stretch for 40 miles all the way up the Gold Coast. parallel to the beach is the Platinum Jubilee walkway. On the 6th of February 2022, Queen Elizabeth II marked her 70 year reign and Platinum Jubilee. Exercise through walking was greatly important to Her Majesty and she worked to promote this. To celebrate, the Jubilee walkway was opened on 2nd of June 2022 to commemorate her reign. There are 70 of the bronze markers, one for each year of the Queen's reign. Morning. So it is our first full day here and we are getting ourselves ready now all packed up and we are all heading to Brisbane for the day. So we've got a few ideas of things we want to do but generally we're just going to have a bit of a wander, see what's about and explore Brisbane. We're going to go get the uh, tram now, get the train after that and it's going to take us about two hours. <laughs> To get into the station we realised that the best way for us was to get the 745 bus from Broad Beach South Station to Narang Station. From there we could get the train straight to Brisbane City. This did take around two hours. We jumped off a little early to go and explore the South Bank Parklands. <laughs> The South Bank Parklands is an area based on the riverside opposite the city of Brisbane. It's filled with cafes, restaurants, garden areas, pools, water features and much much more. It is a beautiful area of greenery on the edge of the city and you could easily spend a day relaxing here and enjoying the area whilst overlooking the skyline.
after we had explored the parklands we headed into the city. You can hire e-scooters from the north end of the parklands and head into the city on bike and scooter lanes. There was lots of stores, restaurants, historical architecture and art pieces to enjoy. We headed across the city to Bakery Lane, but unfortunately not a lot was open and we got the impression this is more of a nighttime entertainment. We did however get to see the world's smallest fire station. Best ways to see the city and get around is by taking the ferry. You can do this for free and you get the chance to see the city from a new perspective. It is a super relaxing way to explore. We then walked to the Brisbane Cricket Ground, commonly known as the Gabba. This stadium is home to the Brisbane Lions, Brisbane Heat and Queensland Cricket. The Gabba has hosted athletics, Australian rules football, baseball, concerts, cricket, cycling, rugby league, rugby union, association football and pony and greyhound racing. After a long day of exploring and lots of walking, we headed back on the two hour journey to the Gold Coast. We decided to make the most of our accommodation and relax by the pool whilst the sun was setting. It was an experience in itself and we couldn't have asked for a better end to our first day in the Gold Coast.
you guys for watching and we'll see you very soon for the next vlog.